All right. What goes through your mind? What happens to you when you put on the jersey? When you become the player JT? I think when I put on that Quakes jersey, it's something that I don't take for granted. I think it's um, a, it's been a dream of mine since uh, I went to my first Quakes game, probably almost 15 years ago. Um, so a lot of times I feel my best and my truest when I'm out on the field, um, playing with my teammates, playing um, honestly just with my friends. So what happens when you take off the jersey? <laughs> it's not like some alter ego or something like that, but um, I think as soon as the final whistle and even that, like going across a bridge or there's a lot of adrenaline that happens, uh, especially when we win, but kind of when you wind down the locker room and um, kind of digest what happened, you come back, come back home, that's when you kind of can take your foot off the pedal. And, um, but even then, like you don't sleep much after the games just with all all the thoughts going through your head and whatnot. So, for example, we're going to talk about Special Olympics. That was right after a game, like a tough game. But you, you were ready to go and be what those kids expected or what those kids needed. Um, what's that like? Yeah, I mean, I think that's that was an interesting one for me personally, just because that RSL game was. I was so disappointed in myself. Uh, the fact that we tied and kind of let in that last goal, and and honestly, like there's a there was a small part of me that was like. I don't really want to go out there. I'd rather just go home. Um, but then at the end of the day, it's like, okay, this is what these athletes um, kind of work their entire year for, their lives for, is for this moment. And you can't take for granted kind of playing in the stadium. And um, it allows you to put in perspective kind of our own game and also what it means to other people when they come and watch the game, uh, whether it be fans, whether it be um, Special Olympic athletes. But it kind of, it's more than anything just perspective. I think Special Olympics for me was a huge one uh, just because my mom and I growing up, we were always trying to do things uh, with them. It's been something that she's been really passionate about uh, since she was a, a young girl. And so I love working with them. I love going to events, uh, just hanging out with the athletes just because they're, they're absolutely incredible and they're hilarious. Just showing up for them is the least that I can do. And they kind of, like I was saying earlier about perspective, um, I think it's just, Kind of going out there and not just being, you know, JT Marcikowski, Earthquakes goalkeeper, but just kind of being a friend of theirs and just going to hang out with them. What's up, buddy? What's up, dude? You goalie? That's what I'm talking about. Hey guys, how's it going? You guys having fun? Yeah. Winning. Get in there! Come on! You can do it. You can do it. What's, What's up, man? On, How are you? Good. Good seeing you. What's up, Keep? I like your gloves. Good defending out there. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're, yeah, you're almost scoring. Go on, Alex. Oh, way to go, goalie. Great job, great job, guys. Good. Great job, great job, great job. Great job. Alex, what a goal. Yo, what a shot, dude. Hey, that's you. Why you? You were great. Thank you. No, I was great. not Yeah. How was the field? Good. Pretty nice, right? Yeah. Stadium's pretty cool. It's not bad. Yeah. Well, keep keep enjoying yourself. I think most of you guys will know it, but let's just let's do just for uh, in case. So repeat after me. Let me win. Let me win. If I cannot win. Let me be brave in the attempt. Here we go, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Why are you so connected to everything? Why do you say yes to all these? <laughs> yeah, I probably shouldn't say yes to everything, but um, I would say it's something that just goes in our family. Uh, my sister's the exact same way. So she's a fourth grade teacher at the school that we grew up going to, also the vice principal, and she's the exact same way. She says yes to absolutely everything. Uh, my brothers are the same, my parents are the same. And so I think it's something that we all kind of do almost to a little bit of a detriment, but um, at the end of the day, I just try to, I try to put myself in uh, other people's shoes and kind of just, just show up. Um, whether it be going to Quakes 2 and supporting the guys who are out there, uh, whether it be yeah going to Vegilution and just helping pack some boxes, and it's really it's like 45 minutes out of your day. That's kind of how I approach it. Um, so um, just hoping that in those I can make an impact somewhere. <laughs>